All right, thanks to this, our delicious Mowale. So, the 5G chef is on it once more today. We will be eating what we call turning cocoa in Cameroon, Mwalmambange in Bakosi, porridge cocoa yam in English. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, please give a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. Okay, this dish goes mostly with the fingers. Eat with your fingers. Let me dive straight into the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Well, the 5G chef is taking you through another hot traditional recipe called turning cocoa. That's a use red cocoa yams or white cocoa yams for this meal. But I always choose to go with red cocoa yams because they are the best. So the first thing you do is to clean your cocoa yams so when you finish peeling off the skin of the cocoa yams you have to make sure you wash them and put them into the pot in which you are going to cook so the other ingredients for this recipe include crayfish that we call janga in cameroon i have here my blended pepper garlic ginger and onion and here I want to put in some green spices because of the flavor and here we have this popular fish called mbunga it is the best for this kind of recipe and then I have what we call country onion it is already blended oh country onions or country onion in any of these kind of dishes gives it very good flavor from red oil and for taste i'll go in with salt and uh, maggie crevette so let me take it straight to the fire all right my washed coconuts are already in the pot what goes in now is the smooth fish the mbunga and now i'm adding in the salt and maggi for taste what goes in now is water put a good quantity of water in the pot because Red coconuts are usually very, very hard. Time to cook. So after cooking for more than five minutes, I have to open the pot, stir it a little to make sure that everything is evenly cooked. All right, time to check the pot after a couple of minutes again. The cocoa yam is boiling. The content is boiling seriously. So let me give it a stir. The whole thing now is a little bit of the blended green spices. Like I said, I like the smell in there. And right now, I am introducing the other blended spices, garlic, ginger, red pepper, and onion. For the flavor, I'll be going in with the country onion. The crayfish. I'll add in a little bit of water again and then I allow the content to cook for like three to five minutes and I introduce the red pepper. Alright, 
going to check. And look at it. Everything is set. What goes in next is the almighty palm oil. Red palm oil. So now that I've added the palm oil, I will let the content simmer for about three minutes. And after that, our porridge cocoa yam, turning cocoa yam, and watermelon powder will be ready. So guys, as you can see, the porridge cocoa yam, and watermelon powder is very very ready ready for consumption thanks for watching up to this level don't forget to support by liking sharing following subscribing and hitting the notification button so that you get notified each time i upload a new video thank you so much bye bye See you in my next video.